Hi, I'm Stephen Mashad. I'm running for Congress here in the 26th District. On my left is a great citizen, Brian, who's orchestrated a cleanup of the canal. How are you, Brian? Tell I'm you good. You I'm good. I'm um, Brian Vest. I live on Big Pine. Um, just got to the point where we were tired of seeing all the trash in the water and decided to do something about it. So we got some friends and some kayaks. And that turned into this great big event that so many people have come to. It's gone viral. It's great. government with all those comedians sitting there on everyone's payroll tell you when they're going to fix it up how they're going to fix it up is wrong well and in this in this case too there's there there physically and financially isn't a plan for what i'm doing there, there's a plan to get the debris off the roads there's a plan to you know get um, giant trucks or vehicles out of a canal because it's clogged and a boat can't get in there but that does nothing about the trash that's floating everywhere and there's trash not only in the canals where people live all of these islands out here are buried in it. It came from, from everywhere. It floats up, gets caught up in the hurricane, it brings it all up in one little giant toilet bowl and slams it into the keys. And it's stuck in the trees that you not believe. By the thousands, thousands. It. Oh, it's no, amazing. You no, know, what you're doing is beautiful. What you're doing is true. You yes. know, it's not about trade. It's about keeping people alive, keeping the communities alive. And I'm selling you. You're the one that's selling you. <laughs> I don't need to sell. Yeah, yeah, no, you yeah. did good. No, you don't have to sell a community that's been hurt. You know, they come together. That's you know, sadly tragedy can bring about a sense of community. 9/11 certainly taught us that sure, uh, yeah. for the whole I country. I was there for that one too. Yeah, and uh, this this little hurricane has done it for Big Pine. We were the hardest hit. The other the other islands are not as bad off as we are. Some more concrete homes on those. And here on Big Pine, there's a lot of uh, the trailers and the people that do all the hard work around here. So they just got flattened. Clean up the canal, they said, Yeah, let's do it. As a congressman, what would you want to do? The, the hardest part, I think, for anybody in politics or anyone running for office is you start out with the biggest heart and the biggest intentions, and when you get there, you're in the swamp. As Donald Trump called it, the swamp. Congress is the swamp. It's just a swamp of bureaucracy and people are printing. You have to move a mountain to get anything done. My dad once told me, Move a mountain one spoonful at a time. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. Get everyone Like that excavator over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, we're going to move them out today. Hi, everyone. I'm all about the Florida Keys, and we are here off of a Big Pine Key today at the Old Wooden Bridge Fish Camp. And uh, those are the cleaning supplies over there. We have, uh, there's been a group effort created, a community effort to clean up the different canals around the area and to also clean some on land and to help community members who cannot do it themselves. Um, me and my girlfriend came out, we're from Isla Morada, and uh, there's some of the organizers over here. I'm just going to get some uh, behind the scenes footage here, piggybacking a little bit off uh, the other guy that's here taking footage. He's got a professional camera and microphone. So, and He's totally okay with me doing that. Yeah. 
miles to the north is going to be a kayak and look at. Should we have that platform? To the north? A large platform that we can put it on? Get it. It's there right there. I'm glad we gave you the platform. <laughs> yeah. oh, really? so they brought excavators. Right, so we're we're going right to get that thing out. Perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. They're like, that's it, Brian. That's all you got, a hot tub? And I'm like, it. it's yeah, going to so be a bear. Awesome. And they're like, awesome. awesome. That's awesome. Where can you get the uh, excavator out? Uh, Sunbelt Reynolds called me and said, what do you need bringing our equipment? We're bringing you two excavators and a platform. All right. And we're coming. And I said, I went to the uh, charge. Yeah, right. I said, no kidding. That's $10,000. Yeah, yeah. And the operators. Wow. So we okay. Alright, I'm going to Tropical Bay. Okay. okay, so we're getting in our truck and there's our kayaks. And uh, my girlfriend Justina, oh, she's getting she's doing her own thing. <laughs> that Facebook live in it. Yep, that's what I want to do too. Alright, let's see you on the back side. We're gonna get in the truck and follow those uh, passionate peeps. Yep. And we're off. Audio jump, here we go.
prepared for a reef relief in Key West. So okay. we have cleanups every weekend just about these days, and we're participating in cleanups almost every weekend uh, for uh, storm cleanup. And we have lots of other activities happening this, this time of year, storm drain stenciling, that kind of thing, to try to keep our environment clean and help clean it up after the storm. There were five different cleanups today, so I'm super excited. Uh, I was even thinking these all these houses around here could have a, uh, a flyer on their door. And if even if they couldn't help, maybe they would allow us to bring some of the debris to the seawall in some spots, you know? So yeah, they've definitely been really great about that. The neighborhood, if they can't help, they have let us bring debris up into their yard so that we can get it out to the street. So that's wonderful. We want to try to keep getting that done before February 1st when we cut off the debris. So well, that's, that's awesome, cool. ladies. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Hi guys, thanks for coming out. Where are you guys from? Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Okay, nice. And you have a place around here for the for the winter? No, we stay at six at uh, Key West. Okay. And how long are you here for this time? A couple of months. Nice. Well, thank you so much for coming out today. So what do you think of all this? I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. And the people with their backups, they could not have been better. And they were so safety conscious. And the whole community coming out. It's just a bit more Did you cold chills to see what goes on? Yep, it does. It's that good feeling, fuzzy feeling inside. Well, thank you guys for your help. Yep, thank you for your help. So, hi guys, thanks for coming out today. Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey. And you're, you're snowboarding, you live, you have a house nearby? No, we have a trailer in <laughs> Okay, well, what do you think of all this? It's amazing. This is our first time, and it's, it's quite a thing to see. It is, it's great. Well, thanks for coming out. It looks like we need a lot more of these. So much more to clean up. So this is the Sun Bell crew. They volunteered the heavy equipment here and their, their labor. Thank you guys so much. So awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Hopefully we can uh, use your services and your equipment in the future because there's just so much more. Uh, I mean, that, that was just tremendous. I hope uh, a lot of you got to know each other also and exchange names or faces or familiar faces or we'll see each other at the next clean out. So the question would be, would you guys uh, think it's the right case to keep doing this? I feel like if we do it too often, we'll not have enough people coming, but if we do it too spread apart, uh, we're not doing enough. But it feels like one every five or six weeks we have a big crowd that could plan for it, make arrangements in their own lives, and maybe schedule some time. So what do you think? Yeah. Oh, once a month. Once a month. Once a month. I was hoping for once a month. Get it on a schedule. Once a month. I know what to do. Sounds good. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I got a couple of phone calls from uh, emails from University of Miami and University of South Florida want to do a college break, spring break or something. Okay. Wow. So we got even more. So, all right. Once a month sounds good. Um, any questions? Did anything go wrong today? Yeah. Anything go wrong? Anybody get hurt? A few, few, few bruises and bumps. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be sore tomorrow, I bet. Where's the beast? Where's the beast? Come here, buddy. You, you can be, since you're one of our poster children, I want you to, I want you to pick a card for the uh, grand prize, the hot tub. <laughs> This is for the free hot tub, including delivery. The winner of the hot tub funny. is Amy Eichen. <laughs> Where's Amy Eichen? Come here. Amy Eichen, you didn't win the hot tub. Coast, coast to sunglasses. Nice. Yeah, let's do the party. Okay, the lucky winner. The lucky winner is. Suzanne Wade. Get a porta potty. Would you like to trade that porta potty for what's in this bag? <laughs> you would like to trade me for that because this is $249 pair of Costa sunglasses. <laughs> So this is Brian, and he headed he the entire community event today. It's the cleanup here in on Big Pine Key. And uh, so, do you live around here? I mean, where are you from? I mean, I you're do. from this area. I live here on Big Pine Key. 
the hurricane came through and uh, wiped everyone out. Um, everyone got pretty, uh, pretty destroyed, and we all got uh, fairly depressed. And the reason why this whole thing got started was, you know, the people were complaining that the trash in the roads wasn't getting picked up very fast. Big Pine Key happened to have been the last key that they would get trash from. In fact, the trash was removed from some of the streets around where I am just last week for the first time. Uh -huh. um, but then we started uh, laughing, like, well, when are they going to do anything about the canals? And we did some research, and there is no plan to do anything in the canals. They're going to make them navigable, as they say, the county says. They're going to come in with excavators and make sure it's clear for four or five feet below the surface. That has nothing to do with the trash. And there's a lot of it in there, like thousands and thousands of tons. So a couple guys and a couple gals got together and said, let's uh, get some kayaks and go clean it up. And uh, about four weeks ago, we went in. And we cleaned it up. We had a bunch of people. Some Which churches, area? Those. It was in Tropical Bay Estates. On Big Pine Key? On or? Big Pine Key, Tropical Bay Estates. And um, one Saturday, we all got together. It was about 50 of us. And uh, we had equal number in kayaks on, in the water and equal number on land. And um, we did, did some pictures and promoted a little bit on Facebook. And it just, it just caught viral. Okay, so you started about four weeks ago. Yeah, well, we did the first one, and uh, I posted the pictures, and I thanked everyone for uh, coming out and helping. And I asked them, uh, would you like to do it again? And uh, a lot of people had caught some notice to it, so they said, yeah, let's do it again. So I posted another date, which is today, and I said, everyone, please come out. And I posted on several sites and Facebook, Evacuees of the Keys, Irma Big Pine, what's up, Florida Keys Locals, and uh, uh, Keys Locals Hardest Hit. And um, I said, I'm going to do this on the 27th. I'd like you to come join me. And instantly I had uh, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of likes. And uh, yeah, I want to do this. And people sharing the post. And it just became a, like a little viral wave to it. Uh -huh. And it got, um, it got attention like nobody can imagine. So your first time you had how many people? 50. And about how many today? Uh, over 150. Oh wow! Okay, and I was there, and we got some big stuff out. We got a uh, yeah. we got a hot tub, and hot we got tub. a porta -potty, porta potty, and yeah. all kinds of trash cans. Up, porta potty. And so, uh, what about the canals behind Lukey Reef Resort? Uh, they, that was just done by a group that uh, works out of the Lukey that canal. And I and just they, asked him. He says all private. Yeah. And they did awful. enough to get the headboat out, but not, not. I don't know if they did enough to get some of the smaller charter captains out. Well, the big guys, if the big guys can get out, the little guys can get out. Because okay. the big boats okay. are dragged, yeah. A lot of the captains there were banging their propellers and damaging their boats trying to get in and out of there. So they really needed to hire some cranes to get some, some serious equipment in there to get the big stuff out of there, which they did, and they did it on their own. The county did not help them at all, I'm sure. I don't even know if the county helped them get rid of what they got out of the canal. That's the next problem that we're going to face, which is the, the county is dealing with the street and the road debris. But when I start pulling thousands of pounds of trash out of the canals. Right, where now do what I are we gonna it? do? And where's it going? Because they said the last the last round was the 28th of January, so no, how No, 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 our, our, well, our last- Are we extended? Our, yeah, our, well, that's the land debris. That's yeah. for the last date right. you're allowed to bring something out of your house or your trailer and throw it on the street and they'll take it away. But does the government differentiate this? Well, the problem is they haven't they haven't met Brian Vest yet. Their, their yeah. challenge is that- And you are Brian Vest. I am Brian Vest. They haven't met the guy Sorry. who's gonna say, well, now we've got another problem because you don't have a problem, uh, I mean, you don't have a plan to get the trash out of the water, but I'm getting it out of the water. Right. I'm going to do this. I've got 150 people here who die hard, hard workers all day long, and we moved, I think, today was 15,000 pounds of plastics and trash out of the water. I'm not talking tree stumps. I'm talking just trash out of the water, about 15,000 pounds. Today, fortunately, we have enough volunteers and dump trucks that we took it to the dump ourselves. And fortunately, the dump right now at the moment is free, so today didn't cost us anything. But I'm wondering, you know, what's uh -huh. what's going to happen in a month work. when I do this again? And I have 500 volunteers. Right. And I have cranes. And, and we I had Sunbelt. We had Sunbelt helping us today. Sunbelt Reynolds out of Marathon. Uh, are are they going to continue to help us? They are. They're going to. They're in. Oh, they're in awesome. this with me forever. They're a great family, a great business, and uh, they shut everything down and brought their equipment, their operators, their families. They all came out and helped out today. It was amazing. So amazing. Oh, so amazing. Makes me so happy. Hugely. So now we were at the meeting afterwards. We were thinking maybe we'll do this once a month now. I, I think we should do this once a month. I wish we could it. do it once a week. It, yeah. It's like today we hardly made a dent. Yeah. And no, yeah, you're right. Well, we made a huge dent to a few people. Right. We cleaned an entire neighborhood. 
actually two entire neighborhoods are done. Now there's underwater, there's more to get, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a later time, I'm sure. We still have all of the keys to do, from Key Largo to Key West. And who's going to do this? And there's no one doing it except these guys. Right, and uh, maybe we, we, we focus here on Key's hardest hit first, of course, and then I'm, we go I'm south and on, west. I'm working on Big Pine first. It's a north. lot to do on Big Pine. You got yeah. Little Torch was destroyed. They got a lot of problems too. We're going to hit them. Marathon's got some issues, obviously, too. Yeah, I saw those. Marathon's its own little animal over there because they've got you know, some very public places that you know maybe the county ought to help out. Maybe there's some hotels that ought to be paying for having their clowns cleaned out. But, there's some RV parks over there. They're just stuff all in there, but they, they're not doing anything. So I don't know if it's a combination of corporate, private, and government somehow getting together. And, and there's no one doing that. No one's going to organize that. I'm just doing the private cleanup. Uh, I'm we'll sure start here. that this will blossom into something. Yep. Some, some, somebody's going to call me someday and say, my name is so-and-so and I'm with so-and-so and, -so, and uh, I'm here to help. Or we're here to help you uh, because it's coming out of the water. It's coming out. Yep, that's awesome. Yep, I, 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 I think so too. This, could, this gets out enough. I think the it, word I think spreads. I think the so. word spreads. We'll make a nice video today. We had uh, uh, Chrissy Wehebe from the Jose Wehebe Spanish Fly Memorial Foundation. She is the daughter of Jose Wehebe who died uh, a while ago. And there's a nice foundation honoring him. He was a fantastic guy here in the Florida Keys. And she's continuing that tradition. And she had Costa sunglasses, which I'm wearing. And uh, she had uh, Yeti coolers. So we had some great sponsors today. Yeah. And uh, uh, Pizza Works right here on Big Pine brought us about 25 pizzas today. Um, we had Sunbelt Rentals. We had Reef Relief, who counts the trash that comes out for their grants. Uh, who am I missing, if anybody? I hope not. Um, yeah, so they lended some support, not only publicity, but also employees. But when they showed up, they said, oh my God, this is way more than what we thought was happening with some little neighborhood cleanup. No, this is an army. Mm -hmm. This is a giant army. And now they're all being fed by Lisa and Gino Maletti from Big Pine Key. It's the key's it's a, hardest hit situation, that's yeah. what they call it, right? It's 120 people, they're feeding them for free. That's awesome, that's yeah. Hard. They've done a lot, I've heard, with the key's hardest hit. So, well, we appreciate you spearheading this. Thank you. And um, have you been delegating different things out besides no, just having sponsors? I'm going to need to. That's the next step. In yeah, fact, I, I want to talk to you after this. I did have some team leaders, as I called them, that took charge of like a certain section that I sent them with, 50 volunteers and a team leader. But I think we're going to have to make this a little bit more formal. Right. Maybe have a meeting beforehand, before the next one, a little more logistics. On the next cleanup, I'm going to do the avenues, which is the most destroyed place on the Keys. But I'm going to need a crane, and maybe two, uh, and I'm going to need a lot of people. Uh, so maybe 500 people or so to do that one. But we can clean the, the avenues up in one day. We can clean it all, and the county doesn't have to worry about it anymore. We'll take care of it. I yep. just need the help getting the trash out of here once yep. I get it out of the water. It so it's figured out as we go. Sort of. Right. Well, right, right now I'm, I'm kicking down doors that I, maybe I shouldn't be, but... Uh, no, kick I'm, some more I'm, down. I'm, Do kick, it. I'm kicking them until I get told uh, you're going to get arrested. And that's fine. I mean, if, if I pull trash out and I put it on the side of the road and someone writes me a ticket for it, I have 500 people that will pay the ticket. And right. then, then we'll take it back to the county and say, now we're going to sue you because you're not going to pick this. But I don't want to go that far. I want right. to be coordinated, amicable. I want a community and government working together. And, and I have somebody to call at the, at the county. I'm hoping to have a great conversation with her and, and organize this and make it smooth and efficient so that it comes out faster and it gets dealt with faster. That's the best solution. Right. This isn't an anti-government thing. This no. is like we're cleaning it up, but uh, it's going to be a lot of trash. Yeah. The, what people see on land is one thing, but it's all in the water also. It is. It's it, everywhere. It, just as much, I think. And so what's going on now? We've got kind of like the after party yeah, we going got an on. after party dinner mm -hmm. hosted by Lisa and Gino Maletti. And uh, we got some music. 
Yeah, we got a band us. playing tonight, and um, a lot of us cook some food. Brian is the man. That's so true for spearheading this. I Thank you. Why is why here we all are? It could have been any of us, but you did it. I, so it only know, takes one man. So yeah, to get it you're, going. you're right. I understand. I'm uh, I'm a, I'm a match. I'm a, I'm the lighter. There was a bonfire ready built, ready to go, and uh, I just grabbed the lighter and I lit it. Well, and I said, let's just see what happens. On behalf of all of us, thank you so much. No, oh, appreciate thank you. your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Guys, in Norman, about this time, we're getting done with breakfast at Bloody Mary's. So. <laughs> they built, built a, a statue out of washers and dryers and yeah, jet skis. Yeah, motor for a head. Standing there. Oh, it was, I got a picture. Did you really got a picture Yes, there? I got a picture. And, and the trash trucks came in and they took that. It was like and they didn't take left, it away. They could have left it up. They just, they just knocked it down and left it there. I was like, oh, they knocked it down. Why did you take it away? And then at uh, 3 o'clock, we're going to take that hot tub out. That's cool. It's coming out. Three o'clock. It's a hot tub that's in the middle of the morning. Yes. There's uh, two hot tubs and a boat and a porta pot. They're all coming out. At that's very cool. Yeah. We should make a museum of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you are... You're from where? Say it again. Say that again. Oh yeah, Dad. I didn't see anything. They didn't see anything. Here I am, just me and my ladder. And then you should send the bill to the federal government. You don't need them coming here telling you what things cost. Our viral army, our viral army, put that stuff out to government agencies, to the, the governor, to FEMA, to Red Cross, to all the mainstream media outlets from New York, down to Dayton Broward, and they ignored us. You know, so we, we are the media, and we are comp strong, and uh, you know what? I mean, it happens. I was thinking about those beers, though. I got beers. <laughs>